Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm sure you know his name. Paul Molsha and his conservative columnist over at Star Ledger and NJ.com. And we have a primary coming to New Jersey that's going to mean something for the first time in a long time. And that is going to be much of our topic for discussion. I, I want to know, are you one of the conservatives who has lined up against Trump? No, not at all. No, I'm, I find him more interesting than the other two who are still left in the race. Um, I like him on foreign policy. I think he's a lot better than... The other two, you know, Kasich wants to start a third world war with Russia over Ukraine, which nobody who's in the listening audience even knows where Ukraine is. You know, it's like, why are we going to fight over Ukraine? You know, um, and Cruz is kind of talking about carpet bombing ISIS, which is a little irresponsible. And, you know, Trump has been saying, let's get out of the rest of the world. Stop being the world's policeman. We can't afford it. When he was baited to say he would start a fight with Putin, he said, no, I'll get along fine with Putin, you know, which is what an adult should say. It's really silly to talk about starting fights with another nuclear power, you know. <laughs> and then uh, people t treated him like he was crazy when he said he would be neutral and trying to get a deal between Israel and the Palestinians. Well, how else are you going to get a deal? It's like the current approach certainly isn't working, you know. So I don't find him anywhere as near as, and on domestic affairs, all these guys are the same. They're not going to be any different. The criticism of him on uh, foreign policy has been, and he's had made some recent comments that made people to believe that his knowledge of foreign policy is not that deep and that he sort of, he kind of makes it up as he goes along. Uh, and we'll start with the debate when he didn't know what the nuclear triad was. And then recently he has said that he doesn't want to fund NATO anymore or he wants to reduce the funding in NATO. He said that we should let uh, Russia take care of ISIS and Syria take care of their own problems. You agree with all that? Um, on the nuclear triad, of, you know, of course he knows we have planes, submarines, and missiles. So, uh, you know, I think they jump on, they love to jump on these little things. On Syria, the others are crazy. I mean, Hillary Clinton is still asking for a no-fly zone, i.e., she wants to start shooting down Russian jets. So did Chris Christie. Insane. And not only that, ISIS doesn't have an air force. Why would you implement a no-fly zone against someone who doesn't have an air force? Now, that is crazy. You know, and I don't. So, and on NATO, what he said was we should be paying less. And Mike Doherty, the state senator from Warren County, who's a conservative West Point grad, spent the '80s in Germany on a, a nuclear um, artillery, you know, unit, which is pretty scary <laughs> because if the Russians came, they were going to fire nukes. You know, um, you know, he he agrees with him. He says we, when we go over there, when he was there, we pay to rent the bases. We have to hire a certain number of local people to work there. We're paying them to protect their countries. How about how about Japan and South Korea? Him saying they should have nuclear weapons. Thing to say. That was a very stupid thing to say. I mean, obviously, nuclear weapons. Should, we should be going the other way on nuclear weapons, getting rid of them, not getting more of them. That was a dumb thing to say. And so you see, it, you see it as being off the cuff. A lot of people see it as him having a lack of knowledge when it comes to world events. Well, I'll give you a classic example, something I'm going to post on my blog shortly. Max Boot, who is this alleged military expert, um, had a piece in commentary all about how, Don how bad Donald is on uh, foreign policy. Well, I just looked up a Max Boot thing before I came here. He suggested when we invaded Iraq, we could set up a regency, the people would love us, everything would go fine. He suggested that the, the Libya invasion would be great. Syria would work out wonderfully. These people have not gotten, his critics, Trump's critics, have not gotten a single thing right since 9-11. They're not a single thing. And so when they start attacking him, you know, they'll attack him in the Max Boot piece. He said that, you know, Donald said Iran is South is North Korea's number one trading partner, and it's not. Well, big deal. That's a trivial point. Max Boot said, Invading Iraq would be a good idea. Now that's a screw up. <laughs> let, me, let me go to his conservative credentials because uh, conservatives have written pieces against him. National Review has come out against him. They put out a, a many, uh, many of the conservative columnists have written pieces against him. And recently, and I want you to comment on that, but I, but I want to put it in this context. Recently during uh, one of his town hall meetings, he said, when, when asked, what are the three most important things that the federal government does? does National security, then he said health care and education. Now conservatives might say that the federal government has no role at all in health care and education. 
Does that bother you? Oh, it does. I mean, we should have gotten rid of the Department of Education long ago because it just creates all these expensive mandates. And the federal government gives us almost no actual aid for education. You know, they, uh, they call the tune and they don't pay the piper, you know. Um, and on health care, I mean, you know, I don't necessarily like that, but let's face it, I mean, the whole Tea Party went crazy to defend Medicare. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Are you going to get one of these critics to say we should get the federal government out of Medicare? I'd like to hear that guy. Yeah, no, I get it. That's not going to be a popular position. But not knowing the role of the federal government and the major responsibilities of the federal government, that's not a deal breaker for you. Well, I think he should know more that education is not a federal. He, he did backtrack on that instantly and said there should be more state control. But when it comes to health care, I mean, it's an unfortunate fact that our nationalized health care system is far more expensive than the national health care system in any socialized country on earth. I mean, we spend a lot more public money per capita on our national health care than England spends on theirs, and theirs covers everybody. Um, so it, it, any of his critics on that, if you ask them specifically, what are you going to cut? And, well, not Medicare. I'm going to put more into Medicare because the seniors vote. Right, exactly. So, yeah, so where's the cut coming? That's an old adage of politics, old people vote. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. You will come back. No, I will. It's fun.